Hello YouTube, this is Dehacker13, and in this video I'm going to be showing you on how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on iOS 4.2.1 using Green Poison RC5 Beta 2 from the Chronic Dev Team. So this does work for both PC and Mac, and I will have both download links in the description down below. So remember to download that now, um, depending on which operating system you have. So currently, as you see, I have a PC. So I already have Green Poison on my desktop here. And for PC users, it does come in a zip file. So um, I would recommend using WinRAR um, to open that zip file up. And you should see the Green Poison program in there. So this jailbreak does work for all iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad devices. So the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 2nd generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 4.2.1. And this is an untethered jailbreak. So for all devices, it's untethered. And also, this does not require any of your SHSH blobs to be saved. So if you don't have any of them saved, then you can use this jailbreak come like just totally normally. It doesn't really matter if you don't have your SHSH blobs saved, but I would recommend saving them if you haven't already done so. And before I get on to the actual tutorial, I just want to give a shout out to a guy named I Crack Your Eye Device. You should see an annotation somewhere on the screen now for his channel. So make sure to check him out. He has awesome videos. And I would really recommend all you guys what going and subscribing to him because he has really good videos, awesome jailbreaking stuff, and other tech videos. So I would really recommend going and subscribing there. So now let's get on to the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is open up Green Poison. And for Windows users, I would recommend running it as administrator in case that may solve any problems. For Mac users, you just have to simply open it up. And so now you should see something called prepare to jailbreak and then in parentheses DFU. So now you want to plug in your device. So I'm just going to plug it into my iPod Touch. As you can see here. So now you just want to turn, so as you can see I have 4.2.1 on it. It's freshly restored. So remember that if you currently have a tethered jailbreak, I would I'm pretty sure that you have to restore it to four like I'm pretty sure you have to restore it before trying this jailbreak, but I'm not sure because I've seen other people report that it you don't have to restore, but I would recommend restoring on a fresh um, 4.2.1. So it says on green poison, please power off your device and connect it to begin. So first connect it and then hold down the power button and slide to power off. as you can see you just do that and then you can now click prepare to jailbreak so now it's going to say get ready to start and you're going to hold down the power button for two seconds and then press the home button and leave that down for 10 seconds until the device shuts off so you see the apple logo go away and then you want to let go of the power button but leave down the home button and you want to keep on doing this until green poison um, recognizes it that it's in DFU mode so once it has recognized it, you should see something on the Green Poison program that says jailbreak, a button. So I'm just going to click jailbreak. And then it should say jailbreaking. And you should see the status bar loading and stuff. And then you should see some text going on the screen, as you can see there. And then the text should start, a whole bunch more text should start um, rolling down on the screen. So once the text finished rolling down on the screen, you should have seen the Green Poison logo, and then it should have simply rebooted. So now when I scroll, you should see a new app called Loader, right there. Okay, so then you want to open up the Loader application, and it should say Loading Sources. And then you want to touch Cydia, and then you want to touch Install Cydia. And then it should come up with this, and it will give you the progress of how much it is downloading, like the percentage-wise. 
and then it should say extracting and then it will say success so now you can either remove the loader app so if you press options you can remove the loader app as you can see there but I'm not going to do that for now so after installing Cydia you should see the application right there so after you have done that your iPod touch iPhone or iPad any device is now untethered on firmware 4.2.1 and is jailbroken and is ready to install anything like themes, tweaks, or anything else. So thanks for watching the video guys. Please remember that if this jailbreak worked for you or if this video helped you in doing it, please remember to thumbs up the video by simply clicking the like button uh, right down there and also please leave a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe to me. So once again guys, thanks for watching the video and see you all later.